I'll show you how to create this animation in just a few minutes using three powerful AI tools to generate objects, animate them with one click, and create a background for your composition. Then we'll bring all the generated stuff into After Effects and make a few adjustments in order to achieve a clean and professional look. We're gonna start off with generating the images of the prisoner or the suspect and the policeman. And it's as simple as just entering a prompt in chat GPT and it does a really good job. By the way, just check out the pinned comment if you want to get access to the prompts, the project file and you know everything I use for this. And then we also need to set up a background for our sequence or for our composition. And I also generated that with chat GPT. This is the prompt and this is the result. But now let's go back to the image of the prisoner and the policeman. Because yeah, it's fine, but we need to animate them. And we're not going to be doing that manually. Instead, we're going to use an app called Kling.ai. And it's basically an AI video generator. And it allows us to simply animate those characters by, for example, dragging over the image, entering the prompt right here. I just said, I want the policeman to slightly move his body and point his right hand very slightly to the front. And that's exactly what we got. And then the same story for the prisoner. I just told Kling that I want the man above to naturally move as though he is slightly stressed out. Head and subtle body movements. And this is the result we got. Now at this point, we're going to switch over to After Effects, create a new composition. And let's introduce the elements we've generated. So the criminal, first of all, let's scale him down slightly. And all we need to do here is remove the white background. So I'm just going to use the rotoscope function in After Effects. Now, once the guy is rotoscoped, I'm just going to click freeze. Okay, now once it's done, we can also increase the feather slightly and decrease the shift edge 15%. Now let's go back to the original composition. And now this is what we were able to achieve thanks to the rotoscope. And now I'm just going to introduce the policeman in here. And I'm going to do the exact same thing. And same story, I'm just going to increase the feather and decrease the shift edge significantly. Let's go back. And now I'm also going to introduce the interrogation room photo. So basically the background. Let's scale it up slightly. I'm also going to apply a luminary color to it. And I'm going to decrease the saturation. Let's bring it below everything. And now we've got a reposition, the policeman and the criminal. So first of all, I'm going to start off with flipping the policeman. So I'm just going to go to layer, transform and flip horizontally. And let me just put him right around here and then for the criminal i want him to be seated in the corner here so something like this and now i'm also going to apply a luminary color to the policeman and the prisoner i'm just going to make them a little bit less saturated and i'm also going to decrease the temperature just a little bit i'm going to copy that luminary color i'm going to paste it onto the criminal next i'm going to introduce shadow so drop shadow and let's start off with the policeman. Let's increase the softness. And most importantly, let's increase the distance. Now that we've got the distance figured out, I need to change the direction. And it doesn't need to be so dark. So let's decrease the opacity. And next up, I'm also going to copy that shadow and paste it onto the criminal. But I need to change the direction. And I'm just going to decrease the distance significantly just so that it's barely visible. I'm also going to go back to the interrogation room and I'm going to decrease the vignette to make just a little bit of a darker area on the sides. And I'm also going to introduce an adjustment layer. I'm going to apply some blur. However, this time it's going to be radial blur. And I'm just going to set it to like 0.4, maybe like 1.3, something like that. I'm also going to apply Lumetri color. And I'm going to add another vignette onto this. And I'm also going to add some noise. That looks good. Next up, I'm going to introduce a new camera. And I'm going to bring the adjustment layer above everything. I'm going to convert the policeman, the criminal, and the interrogation room into 3D objects. And now I'm just going to move out a little bit further in time until the policeman points at the suspect. And then we're going to add a keyframe 
right here just a little bit earlier and then we're going to add a zoom effect so i'm going to hit three on my keyboard and do something like this okay and let's just make sure that the policeman and the criminal are just a little bit in front of the background just so that we can make sure everything looks fine and then the policeman would need to point in a slightly different direction like more like this but then he will be a little bit too tilted so let's just leave it as it is now i'm just gonna select these keyframes i'm gonna hit f9 and we're gonna make sure that they are smooth so let's just use the something like okay and then using Hera, i was able to generate this text box with the word criminal i've already exported it so let's just go back into after effects let's introduce this into the composition i'm gonna add a little bit of shadow so drop shadow And I'm going to bring this below the layer with the criminal. Okay, I'm going to convert it into a 3D object as well. Let's just bring it out a little bit into the front. Let's rotate this around. Let's make it a little bit smaller though. And now in order to get rid of this visible area that is cut off right here, because there's like some scan lines right here, let's just introduce a mask. And let's add some feather to it. And we can decrease the expansion actually. One more thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to delay this in time so that it shows up once there's a zoom in on this area. Let's increase the feather even more. An opacity change right here. So let's set the opacity to zero at the beginning. And then let's make it show up during the zoom in. Like so. And let's introduce another adjustment layer. Let's introduce luminary color. And let's decrease the vignette so that we've got even more dark areas in the corners. Blur, but this time it's going to be CC radial blur. I'm just going to set it to centered zoom and i'm going to increase the amount just a little bit something like this i'm going to set the center to right around here okay and one more thing i'm going to do is i'm going to make this effect invisible at first so opacity set it to zero and then once we zoom in this adjustment layer is going to start working if that makes sense I'm just going to rotate the policeman while we're zooming in. So I'm going to create a keyframe for orientation. And I'm going to rotate this body right around here. Thank you for watching, guys. Make sure to check out this video if it seems interesting or helpful to you.